Hey guys, hope everybody's doing fine. Nabil here with the latest news from the world of fighting games in general. So, we are March 1st, which means we are literally in the month where the first DLC team for the King of Fighters 15 is going to be released. I did a video yesterday and I do believe we're going to start getting trailers about these characters. I don't think we're going to get this DLC in the first few days of, of March. I do believe or think it's probably going to be towards the last week of March and for these next three weeks we're probably going to get trailers for each of these characters like detailed trailers showing uh rock gato and b janet so let's see if my prediction is right and let's see what's going to happen tomorrow well usually that's when snk drops trailers either tomorrow or the day after but today's video is kind of special it's 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 about capcom right i mean capcom has just announced street fighter 6 everybody's looking forward to that but uh capcom did something quite strange uh over the past few hours they do the they actually released some community guidelines where well, they're not really guidelines they're rules on how to run tournaments for the street fighter 5 champion edition and obviously this is the blueprints they're gonna use for street fighter 6. now i'm not gonna say much about what happened afterwards what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the page where they have these guidelines and i'm gonna read them with you in fact i haven't read the whole thing just started reading and i said you know what this is something i'm gonna do on 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 video so we can we can talk about it so let's go to the page where they actually talk about the guidelines so and i just want to make you know i just want to make it clear i do believe that the intention capcom's intention for doing this is not is not bad i i don't think it's bad i really think they were trying to do something here but they did something else. So just give me one second as I get to share my screen here. All right, so this is this is the page, right? And uh, you actually are. All right, so this is the page community license this is what they're calling it the community license so, the, so that you can run events with street fighter 5 champion edition now obviously this is as i said this is the blueprint and they probably wanted to use this for street fighter 6 so i'm gonna go to my region here or it doesn't matter it can go to any region let's go to north america let's see so this is okay except yes sure let me just uh make myself smaller here better all right i think that should be fine all right so let's go ahead and go through these uh, i'm not gonna read the whole thing i'm just gonna skim through it so this was um uh, last update on february 2nd uh now i haven't seen this until until they started talking about it uh -huh. street fighter community license agreement for north america central america south but etc et so this is basically what capcom is saying if you want to run a tournament Using Street Fighter 5, you have to agree to this guideline, to these rules. Now, this is not talking about Capcom Cup, right? Which is kind of strange because when I first saw this, I thought that, oh, maybe they're making it easy for people to run official Capcom tournaments. That's why you have to agree to all this. But no, we're talking about any tournament that you, as a tournament organizer or as a community, you want it to run using Street Fighter. Well, it's going to be a tournament. It's going to be uh, participants and, and a prize you have to go through this, which is, first of all, wow. Second of all, let's go through it quickly. So this is the license grants you. License grants subject to and conditioned upon your compliance with the terms and conditions contained herein. Capcom grants you a non-exclusive, revocable, royalty-free license to operate, use, display, and perform the game in connection with organizing, hosting, and producing those events held in the territory that meet the qualification uh wow okay so this is clearly written by a lawyer just from this first sentence you can see this is done by a law legal team uh which is <laughs> i'll talk about it in a second so um all right hold on a second uh and the perform the game in connection with organizing hosting and producing those events held in the territory that meet the qualification criteria specified in section 2 a below the criteria and each such online or in-person tournament event is an event so this doesn't matter whether it's an online event or an in-person event 
Use the title names, logos, and box arts of the game to promote the event subject to restrictions set forth in section 4 below. Live stream the event on video streaming platforms as Twitch or YouTube or Facebook. Record the event and distribute the recordings with no paywall through streaming platforms. Okay, territory, we're not going to talk about that. Continuing rights, the license granted by Capcom shall subject to... You are talking to people who've been running tournaments. You're talking to a community who wants to run your event. If I see this, I'm automatically turned away. This is just from the get-go. This is so complicated and it just feels like so weird this is and we're not because this is not even talking about official events this is so for example i'm part of an, an a community here and we're trying to run an event a tournament with street fighter on it then i have to go through all this stuff and be scared that maybe i missed something so continuing rights the license granted by capcom shall subject sh shall subject to and conditioned upon your continued compliance with the terms of this agreement survived the termination of the agreement only in such termination was not as a result of your breach of this agreement what the hell is going on this is crazy i need a lawyer with me to run a tournament this is insane this is really really insane um match uh, match footage means video recording blah 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 license grant back you grant capcom a non-exclusive irrevocable royalty free license to use dis distribute and stream match footage and any creative derivative works of match footage for, for capcom's proportion, promotional purposes so you give them the access they can do anything what they do with your video uh your use of the game will be subject to the end user license reserved rights capcom reserves all rights including intellectual property rights derivative works qualification criteria in order to be qualified as an event your community tournament must event must meet the following criteria your event involves gameplay of the game by participants. The prize pool of the event must be set and clearly disclosed in advance of the event and must be under $2,000 per event. So anything above $2,000, you have to go to another license. The total prize pool within any given 12-month period must be under $10,000. The sponsorship contributions must be under $5,000 per event. The total sponsorship any given 12-month period must be under $20,000. No cable or over-the-air TV broadcasts are permitted. So, wow, this is crazy. This is insane. So, okay, let's say we're running a big tournament here in Morocco and then TV started, you know, TV channel wanted to do something. They, they can't because, okay, well, I'm not even going to get into that. No manufacturing of sale of mer merchandise products based upon the game assets are permitted. That's understandable. You may not charge any fee to spectators for the avoidance of doubt. This agreement only covers events and does not grant a license to operate permanent commercial establishment. This is not for arcades or esports bars. This is for one tournament only. If your event is beyond the scope of the criteria set above, you will need to apply for an esports license according to section 9 below. Section 9, they're like nine sections. Crazy. This is crazy. Your obligations, event management. You are solely responsible for all events that you organize. Permit, you are solely responsible for securing. This, why would I even bother doing this? Honestly, I'm okay. I'm just. Oh, anywho, anywho, code of conduct you agree to abide by to require each event participant to abide by the code of conduct set forth in Exhibit 1. Exhibit 1, we're in a freaking courtroom. This is insane. Prize pool where the payment of a monetary prize pool is permitted by law. You will establish such prize pool. Tax, you will comply with all tax. This is scary. I am scared. I am not even running a tournament and I am scared right now that I'm doing something wrong. No reimbursement. Reimbursement of what? You expressly, you expressly acknowledge and agree that neither you nor any person working for or with you has the right to reimbursement from Capcom for any portion of the costs and expenses. Compliance. You will comply with all laws and regulation applicable to the event, participant permission, integrity of game and game assets. You agree that your policies and... Oh my god, I am exhausted reading this stuff. Restrictions, style guide. You may use the game name and logo and game assets, assets according to Capcom. Blah, blah, blah. Pro you may not, without the prior written consent of Capcom, in each instance, change, alter, or modify any of the game assets. Come on, really? This is crazy. No Capcom affiliation. You cannot promote your event in a way that suggests that your event is endorsed. Or affiliated by Capcom. No warranty. Limitation indemnity. You agreed to, to, uh, to indemnify, pay to the defense costs of and hold Capcom. It's licensors. 
it's and their affiliates and it's and their employees officers directors agents contractors and other representatives harmless from all claims termination change oh my god this is insane look at the exhibits look at the, i'm not i'm obviously i'm not gonna read this whole thing and i'm i need a lawyer um street fighter 5 community code of conduct prohibited behavior excessive swearing so you actually are responsible because you run this game you can't you have to follow capcom's rules because you're running this event that has street fighter in it okay harassment all right i mean this is basic stuff understandable usage of your oh my god look at that you can't have your logo on top of the street fighter 5 logo this is not permitted incorrect your brand street fighter incorrect this is what it should be. You can't just say Street Fighter. You have to say the game Street Fighter. And the brand should be smaller. Your brand should be bigger. Don't morph. Don't move elements. Don't change effects. Don't compress. Don't change color. Don't change. What is going on here? Is Are you out of your mind? Why are you doing this? This is crazy. Why would I even bother bringing your game to an event if I have to deal with all this crap? Now, in comparison... SNK's rules for you to run an event. This is exactly what happens if you run an event with SNK. They tell you, hey, are there six, 16 people or more playing in this tournament? Yes. Are you playing a King of, one of our games? Yes. All right. Here's some cool stuff you can give your your the winners. Here's uh, We're going to be sponsoring and we're going to be showing it on and sharing on our Twitter. That's it. That was it. It was literally two lines for you to run an event for SNK games. Why is Capcom doing this? Do they feel they're powerful and just this powerful company that people are going to go and just deal with all this crap to run tournaments with Street Fighter? Street Fighter is a big game. It's a great game. Why are they doing this? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. And you have to submit, uh, run your event with Street Fighter Five. This is absolutely mental is what it is. Uh, now, it was <laughs> obviously... As you can expect, there was a backlash, a huge backlash by TOs, tournament organizers. And all of a sudden, a lot of tournaments that were happening uh, this week, a lot of them announced that they're actually dropping Street Fighter from the lineup. And I do understand if I was running a tournament, I'll do the same thing. I don't want to deal with this crap. This is too freaking complicated. So here's the good news, though. Capcom listened, I think so, because they shared the following tweet. So, yesterday we published the new Street Fighter V community license agreement for both the Americas and EMA. Our aim was to make running an event with Street Fighter Champion Edition easier. When tournament organizers have contacted Capcom about running community events with Street Fighter V Champion Edition in the past, the approval process has always taken a lot, a lot, a lot of time. We want to make the rules clear and to allow for much faster approvals. We're also keen to build tighter relationships with tournament organizers and to encourage safe spaces to play Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Thank you to everyone who has sent us feedback thus far on the new agreement. We are reviewing this feedback with the wider Capcom team and we'll follow up with more updates soon. So they are, uh, just, at least this is good, right? This is they saying that, well, and they, they're basically trying to find kind of like Wait, not excuses, but they're saying the whole reason they did this is because uh, it would take a long time before to um, to actually um, run. Boo! I'm getting bigger. Uh, run tournaments and whatnot, and this is supposed to make things clear and and you know make it easy for everyone to run tournaments. But it's not working. This actually made Capcom look like the evil corporation that no one wants to deal with. You don't want to be in that spot. You do not want to be in that spot because that thing, you know, takes a long time to, for people to forget such things. I mean, I do understand. I do think Capcom's intention here was not bad. They didn't want to control everything. They basically probably sat down with few lawyers and they said, we want to be liability. We don't have, we don't want to have any liability. So liability free of all this stuff, you know, um, attorneys are attorneys, the legal team, they just put stuff that is standard stuff, you know, for, uh, for big events, I guess things that they to clear Capcom from any issues that could arise. But you can't you can't do that when you're dealing with tournament organizer organizers with community 
leaders and people who actually want to run your game. They basically run in your game, run in Street Fighter or any game for that matter. Just choosing a game and making, doing a tournament for that game is promotion for the game. You're promoting the game. These guys are helping Capcom and helping SNK and all other fighting games or companies, game companies in general. They're advertising their product, right? People watch the tournaments, they go ahead and buy the game if they didn't do before. People are introduced to games and game mechanics and gameplay through these tournaments. You don't wanna do this. You don't wanna make it difficult for tournament organizers to use your game in a tournament. So I am so happy to see that Capcom is, I think, listening. Now, I'm anxious to see what, how they're gonna change this, how they're gonna reword all this stuff, because I don't think they're gonna just drop all that stuff. I don't think so. The fact that there's this lengthy, lengthy document in there, I think they're just gonna rewrite it. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be effective. And I'm also very thankful for SNK for making running tournaments for their games an easy peasy breeze it's just you just go ahead and run it let us know are the you know players in there just you know we'll talk about it we'll tweet it we'll help you out that's it that's what it should be right when you run in a tournament in a country or whatever country that company is not involved right the company yeah, it's their game but they're not going to be there's no liability if something happens in that tournament as long as it's not said official snk or official capcom tournament you're not liable for anything, right? I mean, if a couple teams, you know, run like a, uh, you know, like a neighborhood soccer um, soccer match and they play and some, something happened, they're not going to the FIFA and, and actually um, sue it for, 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 for something that happened in there. It just doesn't make any sense. Capcom is looking at this from the wrong way. And I do hope that, you know, looking at the backlash this generated, and rightfully so, I do think they're going to just remove all that crappy. It's... I don't know if you can reword all that to make it better. It's already leaving a sour taste in everybody's mouth. So hopefully they're just going to drop that and try to show. Show that they are, um, you know, getting closer to tournament organizers, not alienating them with all these uh, legal mumbo jumbo. All right. Well, that was that was quite the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, have you seen the backlash? Have you read some of these policies? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching.